Yo, it is good, yo, it's your boy Todd back here with another video, and in this video today, we are going to be talking about something that I think is very important that a lot of you guys need to know in NBA 2K22, my team. So, it's been a lot of stuff going around on Triple Threat Online, a lot of people grinding for Steve Francis, some new things coming out. So, some of those things that you are hearing right now is that, you know, you don't have to win all these games in a row, which kind of is true and that's what i'm going to be getting into in this video another one is that if you win eight games play an unlimited game and then go back and never lose a game it resets in general so there's a lot of things in this video today but basically i'm just going to be going over how you can get steve francis without winning 10 straight games in triple threat online now before i dive any further into that today if you are new to my channel and have not yet please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 80,000 subscribers. So as I kind of previously mentioned, guys, you don't have to win 10 straight games, okay? So even if you're not the best at the game, you're still gonna have to win 10 games, but they don't have to be straight. So everybody, if you are able to at least win, let's say one out of every three Triple Threat Online games, should be able to get Steve Francis. Now, the way I'm gonna be doing it in this video is I'm gonna win my first game to kind of start the streak, and then I'm gonna lose the second game in a way in which the streak doesn't reset. So it's gonna be kind of how it goes today. And hopefully this video can help you guys out. So you guys might be saying, Ty, you're running an absolute cheesy lineup. You got Dolph, Shays, Carmelo, and KG. You're right. I am running a cheesy lineup. But part of that reason is, again, I don't want to lose a game. Am I playing a bot right now? No, this guy's a raise. He, this, this dude is actually playing. He just, I don't think, is very good at the game. Oh, yeah, Melo, go ahead. Go ahead then, Carmelo. My first shot all day. I didn't even play the game yesterday. First shot back is a green light, and that's what you love to see. So as you guys can see, this score is 19 to 16, a closer game than it ever even should have been. But we're going to end it with a win, and that's all that really matters. You win your first game, uh, you don't really even have to. But if I I'm just want to win the first game so I can kind of take you through and show you what I mean. So this is our first game towards Steve Francis, where normally you'd have to win nine straight right after this. So just so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about, I got the Thanksgiving ball, but here you go. Triple Threat online streak is at one. Now, normally if you just go and let's say I lost my next game, I'd restart. I'd restart at zero, so then I'd win a game, I'd have one. But I'm gonna show you a game, a way, and let's say I'm losing the next game in a way in which you can save yourself. So this works, let's say I was eight wins in a row and I was just getting absolutely popped in my next game. I'm gonna show you guys how to not reset the win streak. So let's say I'm just gonna let this dude get up three to zero to kind of show you guys. So let's say the score was right now 17 to 12, I was losing, okay? He drives in, he's, you know, makes a jump shot. So now the score is 19 to 12. You know you're gonna lose, so you just close the app. Now, you're still gonna lose the game, but your win streak won't reset. So I close my app, gonna reload up the game, and I'll kind of show you guys, right? The win streak, no matter what you do, is still gonna have the one by it, because you're still gonna have that XP. But normally, if I lose the game, normally, I the win streak would go back to zero. So if I won my game, I'd still go I'd be at one. The win streak wouldn't go any further. Now, after I win my next game, which I'm gonna show you guys me winning my next game, will the win streak say one or two after my next game this xp shouldn't be done it still should say one out of ten and i should just get the xp for this but because i did close my app the key is closing app the win streak will continue and so if you're like me uh you might not have that many issues winning 10 games in a row i did it on my no money spending account but the odds say that even if you are really good at the game you're gonna come up against a a better opponent or maybe a mo more blessed opponent in one of your games so if that happens you have to know a way to kind of bail you out in a right way right you have to know a way that won't reset the win streak because winning 10 games in a row is not easy to do so if you are in that position again i close that right I, let's say you do get down in the game you know you're not gonna win you close the app can that save you well if I win this game, we'll find out. We'll find out. And again, if you get up to nine games, and let's say the score is 18 to 18, don't even risk it, man. Just pause the game, close the app, because the last thing you want to do or have to do is restart when you really don't need to. And so in a game like this, obviously I'm going to win the game. I'd never recommend closing an app if you're going to win the game for sure, because you still need 10 wins. It's still going to take you a while to get Steve Francis. It's not like, okay, this is a method to get you steve francis without having to grind you're still gonna have to grind but if you aren't necessarily the most talented at the game initially i would have said there's no reason to grind for steve francis but 
if this does work, which I'm pretty sure it does, everybody should be able to get Steve, even if you aren't good at the game. And so I think it's important, right? And, and especially with a guy as good as Steve Francis, if you are no money spent balling on a budget that you have a way to get Steve, even if you're not super good at the game. So it's kind of why, why I'm doing this video because I've had a lot of fun using Steve Francis. And I know a lot of people probably would like to get Steve Francis and might not be great at this game. So like right now, if I'm my opponent and let's say he had won five or six in a row, literally just close out, just close out, at, close at man, save yourself for another opportunity. And I know 2K's goal was to have everybody win the 10 games in a row, but 10 games in a row is kind of crazy. Like that's kind of crazy to me to ask the average 2K player to win 10 games in a row. The odds are that maybe, you know, 10% of the whole community will be able to do that. So, uh, for a lot of you guys watching this video, this is going to be your kind of easy access to Steve Francis, right? I got another win here, which is perfect, outstanding. You go in here, and you can see the triple threat online streak did go to two. So, there is kind of a rumor out there that you got to do it straight, right? So, now if I took a break from TTO and wanted to play my team Unlimited or whatever the case was that I, I would get reset. So you basically have to be devoted to playing straight TTO for a while. But what I will say is if you are down and going to lose a game, closing app is a way to kind of save the win streak. So just something to keep in the back of your minds, guys, especially if you are grinding for Steve Francis, Limited, Bobby Jones. I don't know if closing app works for that, but I would guess it would. Same thing for Unlimited probably. So I'm not telling you guys what to do, but I'm trying to say that this might be an easy way for you guys watching this video to get Steve Fritz. I got him on my no money spent account. Definitely going to get him on this account, especially now that I know even if I lose, I should be okay. And guys, it doesn't matter how many games you lose. Let's say you lose five games in a row. It doesn't matter. As long as you close the app every single game, the, the, the streak's going to stay intact. So... Like I said, basically everybody should be able to get Steve Francis if you want Steve Francis. And so that's kind of the good thing to know, right? You get XP while you do it. You get one of the best point guards in all of 2K. So he's definitely a guy I recommend each and every one of you guys watching this video picking up for your squad. Now that is going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.